life of a musician, traveling musician. Well, it's not always this way, but this is pretty nice. Here's the hotel. We got the suite this time around. Normally my hotel room would end right here, but not this time. Yo, bathroom, you don't need that. Got the whole other sweet bedroom. And here's this beautiful view, Detroit, Michigan. We perform tonight in a few hours. I'll see y'all in bed. jazz band rehearsal at one of the high schools that I teach at. I'm not sure how many kids we're going to have today. I've been having trouble keeping healthy numbers in the band, just getting participation, but we'll see. We'll see, so I'm going to be safe. Put the phone down, and I'll see you in a second. check in about this little guy deep fresh this is a company they make air fresheners for your car and they come in different scents this is the only one I've tried thus far they call it confidence and I've been using it for about a week now it smells really nice it kind of smells like clean laundry to me it's fresh it's a little bit musky definitely aromatic a little bit sweet it's super likable. They have three others that they've sent me. I haven't used them yet, uh, but I plan to do so. And I don't know any of the details or the pricing of this, but I'll put that either on the screen or in the description. 
and with the link to the website yeah anyway gonna link to deep fresh down in the uh, description you can check them out see what you think I'll check back in in a second just fighting this traffic and this rain alrighty we just finished rehearsal it actually went very well way better than I was expecting we had more kids show up today it was encouraging did a lot of listening talked about some history of jazz and played some music and it was a lot of fun you can see my glasses are covered in water because it's still raining and right now I gotta head to a friend's house he's a songwriter and I've been writing some horn parts for an upcoming album we'll be recording uh, probably early next year so I've been writing some parts for him gonna go by his place and work some stuff out I'm sorry I'm not able to film all these events I'm going to it's just not really a good way to do it maybe I'll try to catch some uh, footage of this session I'm gonna have with my friend but we'll see we'll feel it out anyway hope you guys are well I'll see you in a second alrighty I'm here in my kitchen we did not end up making it to my friend's house. Traffic was just absolutely horrid. It was just bad timing. So that's gonna happen tomorrow. We're gonna get together and again, collaborate and work on some songs, get some horn parts done. This was really good that this happened this way. I needed a rest anyway, just to unwind and I needed to catch up on some work. You may have noticed I'm filming this on my phone because I want this to be like legit vlog style. I could have been sitting there holding up my DSLR camera this whole time, but again, I wanted it to be authentic. So this is all on the phone. Here's the kitchen. Yeah, so again, just getting some work done. I don't normally do this, this whole vlogging thing. This is kind of weird, but uh, just doing it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this thing, this kind of like day in the life thing. So uh, one more thing here, I want to highlight uh, some more products I've been sent. These are not exactly fragrance products. They are fragrance based, most of them. Let um, me shake this up. I see the oils are kind of, yeah, has to blend up a little bit. Uh, this is from the House of Sufyan, as you can see. Uh, this brother was really generous enough to send me some of his products. This is wrapped, but this is uh, one of his soaps. He sent me a handful of them. They're glycerin based soaps. They each are fragranced. You can see vegetable-based glycerin soap. I think Penny is drinking water. Oh yeah. And uh, it's really nice. I've been using one of them for the past week or so. Uh, it's great for the skin. It doesn't really dry you out that much. The only one thing I'm not crazy about with glycerin is that they don't lather quite as well as the, uh, the synthetic stuff, the other stuff. I don't know much about soap, but Glycerin, that's the one trade-off. It doesn't lather quite as well, so you gotta use a little bit more of it, but he makes these giant bars, <laughs> and it smells wonderful. Uh, this one, as you can see, charcoal and eucalyptus. Now, I know it's a lot more than just that. Turn it this way here, because it's quite sweet. I definitely get the charcoal vibe. It's also really strong. You can smell it through the plastic. I get the charcoal. It's kind of herbal as well even like aromatic and almost herbaceous, but there's something really sweet about it. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so that's the soap. And he also makes these, and again, shake it up. These wonderful, uh, they're scented mists. It's kind of a versatile thing. It's multi-purpose. You can use it to scent your room. You can just spray it in the air. It'll pretty much just kind of fall into the carpet and make the carpet smell great. You can also use it as a body fragrance. You can spray it on yourself, which I actually haven't done yet. I've only used it as a, uh, as a room spray, and that's probably how I would use these more than anything, more so than a cologne or a body fragrance, but you can if you want. This one is called Chakra. I don't remember all of what it smells like. Let's see if I actually, you know, this one is, it's kind of hard to describe. All of his his products, they have a, a pretty unique DNA to them. There's a through line through each scent that he makes that's kind of sweet and almost balsamic and resinous a little bit herbaceous um kind of almost potpourri in in a way if you can imagine that but really really pleasant and uh you know most people who walk into your house are gonna 
be refreshed by the scent and all with the soaps, they'll be refreshed by your scent if you use it. Anyway, just wanted to highlight this house. Again, I'll link them down in the description. You can check it out. I got a bunch of other soaps that I'll be using. I'm using one now that's kind of frankincense based. It's really, really nice. But anyway, this little house highlight. I'll see you soon. Alrighty, got some work done. So now it's time to practice a little bit. I live in an apartment, so I have to use this little guy. This is called a silent brass mute made by Yamaha. I've had this mute probably since 2002. If you can imagine that, it's been a very long time. I've had this for a long time. It's been with me everywhere, all over the world. So we're gonna get some practicing done. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my warm up, which I'm already warmed up. I played earlier today, but I'm just gonna do some more of my exercises and then practice some etudes and then maybe even do some, you know, some improv, we'll see. So pretty much warmed up. <clears throat> We're going to work on some Charlier etudes. Now, Theo Charlier, he was a French trumpeter and pedagogue, and he wrote this book of 36 transcendental etudes, as he calls them. And they are very, very challenging. They're kind of a rite of passage for most trumpet players, or any trumpet player, really. And each one kind of focuses on a very specific mechanism with playing the instrument. This is one I just happen to be working on. I have them here on my little iPad. I hope to get a bigger iPad soon. This is the 17th etude here. So I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot about it. I'm just gonna play it. Well, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'll do my best here. And I gotta say with the mute in, we're not getting the full effect of the sound and the nuance and the timbre. So. Just use your imagination. Maybe one day I'll live in a place where I don't have to use this and I can show you guys what it sounds like on court. some etude work. Now we're going to do some improvising. Working on, right now, just a John Coltrane tune. I got this little app called iReal Pro that allows you to have a play along track that you can manipulate in every possible way. And there's a play along track for thousands of standard jazz repertoire. So I'm working on, again, this John Coltrane tune is called 26-2. Strange name, that's what it is. So I'm just going to work on the melody as well as uh, playing a solo over the song form. Here we go. <sighs>
another product that I was sent. And yeah, you might notice I have quite a bit of product placement in this vlog. And if you've noticed, a lot of these products aren't necessarily explicitly fragrance related. So I wanted to take the time to include these items in this vlog because honestly, I'm not sure if you guys would wanna see this kind of content in its own dedicated video. So I wanted to do my due diligence and give uh, these products some visibility in this way. So I hope you don't mind. We're talking about a company based from the UK, I think out of England, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, they are called Distinctive. And uh, they make soaps, they make laundry detergent, uh, washing powder, as they say, and they also have these room sprays. And they sent me two different scent packs, and I assume that these might be the only two that they have. If I'm wrong, then I'll double check and I'll put a little caption on the screen. But I believe you can purchase a particular scent pack and it comes with the products dealing with that uh, fragrance. So this scent pack is based around, they say relaxing blend of green stems, essential oils, white blossom, moss, and musk. So this one, and on the actual powder here, they say violet leaves. And I think here they also say violet, but on the soap they don't. But the soap, I actually get a little bit of a violet. I get this kind of green nature to it. And I gotta say, you know, talking about the scent of this stuff, I'm using one of the soaps that they sent from this pack right now. And it's been nice. I don't believe it is a glycerin-based soap like the ones I talked about from a house of Sufjan. Um, so it does lather pretty good, a little bit better than glycerin, but the scent is nice. It is, it's kind of green, it's soft, and it is a little musky and a little bit floral, but it's very nice, very pleasant. But I do have to say, I haven't used this one yet, but this scent pack is amber and calming sandalwood. And man, this one smells really nice. Again, I haven't used the soap yet, but I'm actually what I'm gonna do, Again, they all have the same scent. I'm gonna spray the room spray right now because I really dig this stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. That smells great. Yeah, I dig that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, so, just wanted to show you a little bit about Distinctive here. We'll link them down in the description. You can check out the website. It's really high quality stuff, I gotta say. I haven't had a chance to use the wash powder uh, yet because they have a very particular way of using it. Uh, there's some pretty particular uh, directions and I just haven't had the time to really figure that I'm, I'm out and actually wash my clothes. Every time I wash my clothes, I'm always in a hurry. So I'll need to spend more time with the powder to figure out how to use it optimally. Hey, I uh, just wanted to jump in here and actually do some service to the uh, the washing products. I didn't have a chance to really use them, so I wanted to at least share a little bit more info about them because uh, as you can see, they're highly regarded. Uh, they've been featured in all these magazines, GQ, GT, Square Mile, Esquire, Men's Fitness, and it's really what they believe to be a superior product and they are putting a lot into it. It's supposed to be a total solution product, so you don't need any extra stuff like fabric softener or stain remover or anything like that. Uh, you can get a great wash at what they say is just 40 degrees, which I imagine is Fahrenheit. Uh, so that's relatively cold. That's actually pretty cold and you'll get a great wash in that. And they say the, uh, the surfactants are fully biodegradable, which is awesome, that's great. And you can see here, they have this little code. Unfortunately, this has long expired, December, 2018. But you can find them on Amazon. You see they got a four and a half star rating on Amazon. There's the website there. Uh, yeah, this is distinctive. And I'll be using their products. Um, I'm happy that I have the wash powder. I've, I've never really used something that's supposed to be so high quality and so particular. So it'll take some getting used to, but I think it will definitely pay off. So if you're interested in upgrading your laundry game, then check them out. All righty, don't have much time, but getting ready to head out to a gig. I'll try to get some clips if I can 
it's always hard to get things right in the moment here because I try to stay in the moment when I'm playing. But I just want to let you know my sin of the night, Cher Guy from the House of Serge Luton. Love this stuff. Uh, while I'm here, you might as well show you my spray routine. I stay. Should be good enough for now. So currently, my spray routine hovers around usually four. <laughs> Drop the cap. Usually four to five sprays, depending on the fragrance. This one I'm gonna go with five. I'm gonna put two there. Actually, I'm gonna do four. Yeah, I can already tell it's already a lot. It gets too powdery when you put too much on. I put one on this side. Again, this is kind of behind the ear. One in the back. So one, two, three, four. Actually, I'll go with five, but I'll put the fifth one under the shirt. Why not let it radiate? So that's my spray routine. Hopefully I'll be back with some clips of me playing the trumpet. So, uh, it's a new day. Uh, assuming I'm putting this all in order, I hope you enjoyed the clips from the gig last night. Uh, I don't normally talk about my maintenance routine, but I'm working out right now. So I'm just gonna show you guys one set. I've already done half of my upper body routine, which is just push-ups. I just do it at home. Uh, so I did 210 uh, wide stance push-ups already. And now I have how many? 160 diamond push-ups to do. So I split it up 80 and 80. So uh, I got headphones in because I'm listening to some music while I do this. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the music again, show you guys one set. And that's it, just wanna give you a little glimpse. Gonna have some other kind of music playing in the background because I don't want copyright. So here we go. That's 40. I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch the whole thing. So we'll cut here. I'll be back at some point with something else. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, just finished working out. Wanted to come back real quick and show you guys the other car air fresheners that I received from Deep Fresh. Uh, again, the one I have in my car right now is called Confidence. I've had it in there again for like over a week almost two weeks now and i'm enjoying it it's really fresh and clean aromatic kind of laundry like like i said but easy to like the other three here we got deep black we got deep red and this one in the back here it's called deep blue you can't read that you can't read it now you can kind of read it no deep blue trust me yeah unfortunately 
I can't really open them all now to smell them because once you open it, then, you know, all the scent is just gonna be coming out and it goes out until it runs out, basically. Once again, link will be down in the description. If you're looking for a good air freshener that's not like your run-of-the-mill pine fresh or new car fresh, nothing wrong with those, but if you want something a little different, a little bit more, you know, something that smells more like a fragrance, if anything, more like a cologne in a way, then check these out. Alrighty, what's up? Uh, just got off work at the warehouse, headed to the university to teach my last lesson of the semester. And man, I love this drive. It's about a 40 minute drive to get from, again, the warehouse to the college. But man, this view, they call this Raptor Ridge. It's gorgeous. Even on a cloudy day like this, I love this drive. Anyway, I should be safe and put the phone down but I'm also warming up on my trumpet while I drive too, so I'm not really being safe, but I'm gonna put the phone down. I'll see y'all later. Alrighty, what's up? <clears throat> We're back, it's been a long day, but I'm gonna wipe off this camera lens a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about the weird sounds. Headed to another gig. Send of the night, a new acquisition to my collection. I assume by this time you've seen this in my top 10 designer fragrances list for the winter. But if not, then here it is. But I think that will definitely be out before this video. I'm gonna apply it. I am running late, so I gotta go. We're gonna do, let's say four sprays. This stuff is pretty strong. And we'll score five, one under the shirt. Man, this is so good. Oh, yes. Hopefully I will have already talked about this and you'll know more about the scent, but if not, beautiful, kind of aromatic, but also rich and warm. I think there's like tobacco and cinnamon. It's kind of fresh. It's definitely sweet. Crowd pleaser for sure. Hopefully I'll pull some compliments tonight and I will do some footage of the gig. Hopefully I actually get other people in the footage. I realize I'm not showing you anyone else but me, but hopefully I'll get some more footage of others at the gig. I'll see you soon. Check-in scent of the night is going to be Dior en Parfum. I've already applied it. I got to head to a gig. It's a private event, so I'm not sure how much filming I'll be able to do, but we'll see what I can sneak in. Anyway, just wanted to check in, keep as much fragrance going on in this vlog, but hope you're doing well. I'll see you soon. I've heard great things about it. In fact, they had a class on it when I was at... Uh, University of Illinois, yeah. and this guy, he was like 88, I don't remember wow. his name, but he taught it, and everyone just said it was amazing. Yeah, that's that's what I, uh, yeah. I just got through a, a class at PSU. Oh, okay. And uh, 
It was really transformative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Before we go any farther, um... 